This sewing table is probably the driest sewing table I've ever seen. It needs a lot of love. There's some veneer lifting on the top here. I think that's where water has hit the surface, got underneath the veneer and raised off the uh, wood underneath. Hopefully, this should be quite a straightforward fix. Just some wood glue and a clamp should get that nice and flat again. There are lots of missing patches of veneer on all of the drawers. I think I found a really good match here. The colour is quite light, but the grain is a perfect match. Now, that's quite brittle, and the problem with that is it's going to be really hard for me to bend that round the corner without that breaking. So I'm going to use a small pot of warm water. And the idea here is that you soak the veneer and already I can feel it's starting to soften up. I'm going to now clamp that in place around that curved edge, leave it to dry. Once it has, it should dry in the exact same shape that I need it to. Well, I've taken off the clamps and the wetting and the clamping of the veneers really worked out well. There's a great sort of L shape there. I'm going to glue that in with some wood glue now, with some clamps, a few blocks of wood, and that will then keep that in position whilst it dries and prevent it from pinging back out to that flat shape again. <laughs> Well, the glue has now dried and the veneer is ready for colour matching. So I'm going to use some sort of burnt umber and black pigments mixed with some shellac polish to mix up the colour that I need. patch has blended in beautifully with the surrounding veneer. I'm going to leave that to dry, and whilst it is drying, I can now tackle the other three drawers. 